My name is Jordi Riva. I'm a psychopharmacologist and neuroscientist based in, in Barcelona. I do research on psychoactives and uh, I've been studying ayahuasca for around 20 years now. Ayahuasca is a, is a complex uh, substance, a psychedelic ancient medicine used in the Amazon and uh, we were interested in seeing whether it could have some properties that could be uh, used for uh, therapeutic purposes. So after many years studying mechanism of action of ayahuasca, we've seen that it's able to modulate uh, areas in the brain that are involved in the processing of emotional memories. And uh, we've recently conducted a study showing that it can induce very uh, rapid improvements in depressive symptoms in patients that do not respond to usual medications. More recently, we have uh, conducted uh, in vitro experiments with the active principles present in ayahuasca. And we've seen that they stimulate the growth of new neurons in the mammalian brain. So we think that ayahuasca acts at various uh, levels, from the psychological to the uh, neuronal to the cellular uh, level, uh, potentially inducing beneficial effects. So we think that it allows uh, an emotional reprocessing that could be useful, for instance, in the treatment of addiction and in certain personality disorders, and this is what our future studies will uh, try to uh, assess. I think we owe to the original inhabitants of the Amazon this knowledge that has been passed on us. Uh, for many years, the use of psychoactive was frowned upon in Europe and in North America. But uh, if I, they had been using ayahuasca, in this case, uh, for many centuries, there had to be some, some uh, good reason for it. So I think we are indebted to them and also to the subsequent traditions that have incorporated ayahuasca use into other uh, form of, forms of uh, religious practice. And uh, in lay context, uh, in our Western world now, ayahuasca is being used to facilitate introspection, self-knowledge, so it's a different approach. It's not based on religion. It's probably not anymore a rite of passage. But I think that every human group that interacts with ayahuasca rediscovers it and uh, incorporates it into its own cultural framework. So I think we can all contribute to uh, better understand what uh, ayahuasca does and what we could uh, learn from it. So I think that uh, it's an it's a unavoidable marriage, this uh, traditional knowledge and the modern tools we have to approach uh, psychedelics in general and what the effects of ayahuasca on the human brain are. When I started my, my research 20 years ago, uh, there was uh, indifference, if not uh, some over negative reactions to this kind of research. But uh, in the last four or five years, I think it has completely changed. They've seen that uh, we can do good science and uh, we, can, we are able to demonstrate that the substances uh, actually modulate the dynamics of the human brain and that they show promise. So now what I'm, the feedback I'm getting is, uh, is very positive. So I get more and more health uh, professionals approaching me and saying that they would like to, to participate in, in studies uh, assessing the therapeutic potential of ayahuasca. So, so I think society is uh, becoming more open to what these substances uh, might offer and uh, this, the original stigma that uh, we were living with in the past uh, decades uh, is gradually disappearing and it's being, uh, it's being substituted for uh, evidence-based uh, data. So I think the society at large, if you can show them uh, in an understandable and, uh, manner and uh, following uh, adequate met methodology, that the substances in certain uh, specific cases could be used as medicines, they will be uh, ready to, to try this and uh, accept it in the end. Ayahuasca is for me uh, the center of my, my work life and uh, not only that, it has shaped the way I interact with many other people because uh, it has allowed me to uh, go into research, it has provided me with uh, very uh, challenging uh, research uh, questions, we've been able to address them 
and it has allowed me to interact with people who are open-minded and uh, have similar uh, interests and want to expand human knowledge. So it has provided me uh, like a, uh, many years of uh, interesting work and it has uh, facilitated uh, the possibility of, of my interacting with people I wouldn't have otherwise uh, ever met. I think uh, it, now it, the time is, is ripe given the, the uh, pilot data we have showing the therapeutic potential of uh, ayahuasca and similar substances uh, for uh, funding agencies to try to help us in this research. So, always the limiting factor in, in any field of research is, is uh, financial resources, so I would encourage governments to try to look uh, more into this and try to help researchers find out whether this has uh, some uh, potential to treat many of the ailments uh, that afflict humanity.